Most of the medical device cases that Langdon Emerson has handled have involved joint replacement devices. Uh, we have been uh, heavily involved in metal on metal hip implant cases and uh, Zimmer knee cases. As we were investigating our defective hip and knee cases, we found a lot of clients having issues with infection. And as it turns out, this wasn't just happening to our clients, this was happening across the country. In the vast majority of hip replacement surgeries, the patients are draped with something called a bear hugger warming blanket. This blanket is designed to keep the patient's body uh, temperature at a certain level uh, for comfort and for health. But the way this works is by running warm, forced air through the blanket. And so a hospital operating room is generally considered a very clean and sterile environment. Doctors scrub up, they put on the protective clothing, all of the utensils and instruments are uh, cleansed, but what about the floor? Even when the doctors put booties on their shoes, they walk in from the room, they bring bacteria and germs on the floor. The way the bear hugger warming blanket works is it pulls air from around the blanket and it pulls this dirty, contaminated air off of the floor around the patient and directly into the wound site of the surgery. And so there have been a substantial number of hip and knee implant patients who have gotten very severe and debilitating infections because the bear hugger warming blanket has contaminated the surgical uh, wound during the operation. Clients come to Langdon and Emerson because of our history of success in working on complex product defect cases. We've translated our expertise in product defect cases to medical device cases involving many, many plaintiffs. We offer personalized service. You'll always talk to an attorney or paralegal on your case. You won't get a call center. We'll know about your case. We'll know about your family. We'll work hard and we'll leave no stone unturned to make sure that you get the recovery you deserve.